Philadelphia couple joins class action lawsuit against NSA's Verizon spy. That's right, it is a spy state. The plaintiffs are calling the domestic spy operation a breach of privacy. Filed in a federal court in Washington, D.C. on Sunday, the lawsuit names a host of heavy hitters, including President Barack Obama, the NSA, and the Department of Justice. He knew something was off when he sometimes heard tapping noises while he was on the phone. And I called Verizon. I have a text 001-002. And I called them up. I said, who's this? And they said, it's somebody listening in from the United States and someone from Afghanistan. Strange claims the text started soon after his hero son's death and when he demanded answers from the government. They didn't want nobody asked. No. Okay, so that was the a father of a SEAL Team 6 soldier. His son died, uh, you know, in the helicopter fiasco. And he says, I just want answers, and they didn't want to give questions. So on more than that, we have that father, that same father, giving his testimony of what happened to his son and also the reaction he got from President Barack Obama. To put my son in the most elite SEAL team in the world in a Chinook helicopter over an active battle that's going on for three and a half hours, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Somebody has to answer for this. You know, a Chinook from 1985, you know, look outside the picture, you know, who's getting paid to keep rebuilding these Chinooks? Who's making the money, right? 93 days after killing bin Laden, all of a sudden you're going to put 22 of the most elite in SEAL Team 6 in the world and eight other great Americans into a Chinook over the battle. President Obama comes up to me and he says, Mr. Strange, he grabs me by the shoulders, Michael changed the way America lives. I grabbed Mr. President by the shoulders and I said, I don't need to know about my son. I need to know what happened, Mr. President. And the Secret Service guys grabbed me. And I'm crying. And he went to give me a hug. And I whispered in his ear, I said, Mr. President, is there going to be a congressional inquiry? And Mr. President whispered in my ear, and I could feel his lips touching. He said, Mr. Strange, we're going to look into this very, very, very deep. Well, I haven't heard nothing. So you heard his statement there. He said, why is my son in this antique helicopter to begin with, as well as many other brave soldiers? And he says, I had a chance to personally meet Barack Obama. Barack Obama approached him. In fact, he says, sir, I'm very sorry for your loss. He says, Mr. President, let's not worry about my loss. My son knew what he was signing up for. We just want the answers of how this could happen. The president assures him we will look very deeply into this. And then a couple of golf games and uh, scandals later. In Barack Obama's defense, he does have a new scandal come out every week. He has to deal with or shift the blame to, to somebody else. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.